Hi, Stephanie Mullen, back with you to show you how to use Rampant Style Mats X plugin for Final Cut Pro 10. In this FCPX plugin tutorial, I'm going to show you the following techniques in Style Mats X how to add mats to your video footage, how to reposition your video footage, how to change the mat length, how to change the background color of the mat, how to add background video, and how to add multiple videos using the mat drop zones. All right, first of all, if you're not aware how to install this plugin or any other rampant FCPX plugin, check out the description below where you will find a link to the plugin installation tutorial. Now we have everything already installed, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Now technique number one is how do, how do we add these mats to our footage? Well, that's really simple. Let's start by adding footage to our timeline. So let's go ahead and grab a clip. We're going to insert it there. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. That's probably a little too much. Let's zoom out some. Okay. Now we have our footage in the timeline. Now to find our mats, where are they located? You're going to go over here, click on the title tool, and then you're going to scroll down until you see RDT Mats X Volume 1. I'm going to click on that. And then here's all the, the mats in the, that are included in the product. There are 40 of them. And if you want to see a little preview, you can always click on them, highlight them, make sure they have a, a yellow box, and then press the space bar. This is going to show you really fast, and if it's still playing, you can actually click on the next one, and it will continue playing. So you can quickly go through these and uh, see what's happening on all the animations for the ins and the outs and all that stuff. Another way to preview these really fast is to check out the preview sheet. This comes inside the uh, zip file that you actually download. And you'll see here, here's a quick representation of all of the mats that are included, all 40 of them. And you'll also see that there are a few that have boxes around them. These are going to be important when it comes to your drop zones, which we'll talk about at the end of this video. So just keep in mind, preview sheet's really cool to look at, really fast representation of your mats to see them really fast. All right, let's jump back over to Final Cut. Now, here are our mats, and our footage is already in. So to get these on top of our video, all we do is select the one we want. We're going to do 001. We're going to drag it on top of our video footage, and if I press the space bar, there it is. Okay. So technique, what technique number one is done. We have the footage and it's stylizing our video. Lovely. Now, what if we wanted to extend these? Well, that's technique number two, changing the mat length. So as you can see here, each mat is composed of an open animation and an end animation. So here's the opening it animates on and then it animates off. So again, animate on, animate off. Now what we're going to do is if you want to extend this, it's really easy. I just take the end of the mat, extend it for however long I want. So we won't do the whole, I'm going to actually shrink this up a little bit. But if we play it through now, you'll see it animates on, it holds, and then it's going to animate off again. Okay. And again, you can extend these indefinitely, just you're going to have the whole point's going to be longer so you can make it as long as you want. So we've placed the mat on our timeline. We have extended the length of the mat. Now, technique number three is repositioning the actual video footage. Now, we're not actually going to be working with the mat on this. We want to work with the actual video. So I want to click on the video. I want to head over here to the inspector, click on the inspector. And then here's where you're going to see the positioning. This is where you can. So we want that hand to be in the middle of the frame. So I just want to move the Y and I'm going to move it up. OK, now, if you had room to play, you could work with the X as well, but we don't have, because this is full frame, these mats are already full frame from left to right. We don't actually have that, that room to play. So we're going to keep that as zero, but we did, we were allowed to move up the Y to get her hand in the center. So let's rewind that and see, there we go. Now her hands in the center of the frame. That's exactly what we want. And that takes us to, te to technique number four, and that's going to be changing the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the mat itself and you're going to come up here to the parameter zone and you're going to see the very first parameter is the background color. To change the background color, simply click it. And there you go. Now you can do the color if you open the color panel here and you can pick any color that you want. So maybe we want a light pinkish purple. All right, there you go. So simple, so easy. So if we rewind that and we press play, we have a color. All right, I'm going to stop that. I'm going to rewind it. Now, what if col the color is nice, but what if you want to have a video in the background? Well, that takes us to technique number five, which is adding video to the background. That's very simple. So all we're going to do, we're going to take a clip. 
and we're going to drag it down on top of our mat. We need them stacked on top of each other like this. You can't actually put it down here for it to work. It just has to be on top because of the way we're doing this. And we're gonna shrink this up just a tad bit, just like that. Now to get this to actually show behind, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on it, go to the inspector, scroll down to the compositing tab, change the blend mode from normal to behind, okay? Now, what you're seeing right now is you're seeing the color background of the mat. The color of this will always override the video that's on top. So to show the video, all you have to do is uncheck that, all right? Now, if we rewind this and push play, now you have your mat over top of your video background. Perfect. All right, let's stop that. Let's rewind. Now you've learned all that you've learned the first five techniques. You've learned how to place the mat onto your timeline. You've learned how to change the duration of the mat, how to add background color to it, and then how to add a background video to your mat. Now, what if you wanted to actually have multiple videos in your mat at one time? So in each of these zones, you want an individual mat. No problem. That's where the drop zones come in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you again that preview sheet. Okay. Now, remember what I told you here about these boxes? Every time you see a box on a mat name right here, that means there's not a drop zone attached. Basically, the, most of these mats are full screen and it wouldn't be practical to have a drop zone. So by looking at this preview sheet, it's really a quick way to be able to reference exactly what mats have the drop zone and which don't. Okay, so let's go back to our final cut. Now to do this, we're gonna, I'm actually gonna go into a different project, so it's blank. To add the drop zones, it's really simple. You don't actually need to start with any video footage in your timeline. You simply click on it. We're gonna stay with uh, mat number one. I'm going to drag it here. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so I can see it. And you'll see here's our mat. Wait a second, where is it? Well, we don't have the drop zones turned on. So what we need to do is come up here to the um, inspector and turn on drop zone one, two, and three, just like that. Now, if we roll this through, there are all of our drop zones, okay? Now, I don't want this to be this fast. I'm just gonna extend it just a little bit. So let's go ahead and extend that length out just a little bit. You can do that at the end or now, it doesn't really matter. Um, remember, you can extend the length of these clips as long as you'd like. So there's our mat. Now let's go ahead and talk about the drop zones. What I like to do, and this is just a personal preference, I like to place my uh, playhead in the middle of where the hold point is. So what I do, is I find where the animation ends or begins the ending of the beginning animation. I like to put a marker there and then I like to move down until it starts to do the animation off and I put another marker and then I just sort of put this eyeball this in the middle. This is going to be really important when it comes to previewing our drop zones and I'll show you that in just a second. So we have our playhead in the middle. Now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on drop zone number one. So I click that and you're gonna see a window open here that turns your preview window is gonna kind of split in half right here. And you're gonna see your drop zones here, which is where your playhead is actually. And you're gonna see a preview here. So we're gonna to go to our drop zone event. And here's what we're gonna do. Let's say we had a, uh, we needed to put together a title sequence for a park and we were showing park activities. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. And what you'll see if I scroll through this, this is the first clip. So I have a little girl here as she's walking, she's holding her hand, the hand of her mom. And I want to click and what you're going to see is you're going to see a video pop up here. When I click here, it's going to pop up here. Now I actually like to use the list view instead of the, um, uh, the film strip view. I like it better to see it right here. So here's what's going on. What you're seeing when you click on this, all right, is you're seeing the drop zone being applied to your clip over here, but where you're actually snapping right here is going to the beginning of this clip. So if I preview this, it's kind of hard to see. See how she's looking down? That's the beginning of a clip. That's where I clicked. So if I want her face to be up right here, to be showing halfway through this clip, I need to find her face and I need to back up some and click. So I need to keep clicking here, there, until her face is where I want it to be in the middle frame. So whatever you see here is what's gonna, the behavior that you're gonna see right here in the middle, okay? Now there goes clip number one, so let's do number two. So all I do is come over here, click drop zone number two, pick another clip. Here's one on a little girl on a playground equipment. So I want to start this one here. That's perfect. And then let's go to drop zone three and we'll have this family walking through the park. And maybe I want to start it right here. 
So as you can see when it's middle through, maybe we'll make it go forward a little bit. So you can see the preview. Now when you have all of these in, you can say apply clip. And there's all of your, uh, your three drop zones are filled. So let's go ahead and play that through. All right, animate's on, perfect. Now, here's where you get to work with the repositioning. If I stop this in the middle, maybe I wanna zoom out the little girl walking and I wanna change and move over just a little bit. There you go. And maybe I wanna zoom out the second drop zone so you can see that it's actually playground equipment. And let's zoom out a little bit and possibly move over the family so you can see them a little better. Now let's watch this again. I'm gonna press play. There we go. And like I said, you can extend this. So if I just extended this out, it's just going to extend the mat and then your clips are gonna play for a longer time. Okay, so that's perfect. That's really easy, really simple. Now the same techniques apply if you wanted to add a background color. You can just click the background color and then change it to maybe you want a nice sunny yellow. All right, that's nice. So you can have a background. You can also, let's take the background color off. You can also add background video as well. Again, just place it on top. Make sure you have the video selected and then change the blend mode from normal to behind. And again, you have the video come on and the video stays behind there and you have in, everything's animating. All right, so you have that. You can also do, you can start adding titles. So what if we turn our background color back on? Let's go to the middle. Maybe we wanna add a title, I don't know. Well, let's try Pixie Dust, that might be fun. So let's add a Pixie Dust title. Let's sh shrink it up just a tad. And here's our title. Let's go to our text. Maybe we'll call this City Park Fun, all right? And we wanna change the positioning of that. Let's scroll it down, just like that. And then we'll change, of course, change the color because you can't see it. Maybe we'll do it like a purple. All right, maybe, yeah, like that's fine. So then if we rewind that and press play, you now have this really cool, really easy done, uh, really nice style mat uh, plug-in tutorial that you are not, plug-in tutorial, plug-in template that you have here that's really nice, really fast, really easy. Plug in the drop zones, three different videos already matted for you. So, so, so simple. So that's it. That's everything. That's all of the techniques all in one. So you learned how to place the mat on top of your footage. You learned how to extend the mat, how to add color to the mat, how to add video background to your mat, and then how to use the drop zones and add multiple videos all within one plugin. So much power and control squeezed into one little FCPX plugin. I love it. If you're interested in any more plugins, tutorials, and training, head on over to rampantdesigntools.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. Again, I'm Stephanie Mullen with Rampant Design. Thanks for watching. Bye.